I know games. Sometimes I like to share it with someone like you. Hey guys, time for another episode of Strip Search. <clears throat> Excuse me for this moment. Alrighty. In case you couldn't figure out by that little opening monologue, today, or what is uh, staring you right in front of the face, this is going to be a strip search of Batman Arkham City, the sequel to 2009's Batman Arkham Asylum, which I am using to prop up Arkham City because, well, it's a, it's a long story, but... Anywho, uh, am I straight? Oh, oh, now I am. Okay, uh, as you can see, the thing is so big that I couldn't really show it to you through normal means. I needed to uh, set it up on my uh, table here, so my big eating table. So as you can see, here it is. And of course there's the uh, Batman statue uh, invented by uh, or constructed by Kotobukiya. And uh, let's see here. And we got Batman's side and the back there which tells about all the neat stuff you get. And uh, and of course we get the Joker side. and. Uh, I don't know. Is it just me, or is, does the Joker look like he's going bald? Eh, may just be me. But, here we... So, what do you say we uh, get right to it, shall we? Remember, all episodes of Strip Search are live and uncut. Meaning that I have not previously unwrapped this or defiled it in any way, shape, or form. Oh god, that sounded so wrong. Uh, but, okay, we got the wrapping off here. And, uh, just prop it up there. So, uh, yeah, as you can see, it's, uh, covered by some type of uh, plastic top, um, which, oh, there we go. Ooh, and apparently it folds down here. And, uh, oh, and I don't know if you can see it, but there is a picture of Two-Face in the background, in the back here. Here. And I don't know about you, but Two-Face has always been one of my favorite Batman villains. Him and, uh, believe it or not, the Mad Hatter. I know, I know, I'm an odd duck. Uh, anyway, what else we have here? Well, um, here's the statue. Uh, and, uh... And uh, it's held together by wrapping and plastic and all that sort of neato stuff. Okay. I always love uh, Kotobukiya's uh, design. Mm. Wow, okay. And uh, there we go. And here's the statue. I'm Batman. And I look, and as you can see, it's the little details there, like the I don't know if you can see that, but it's the details in his utility belt. And his cape's got like this plastic, 
weird plastic rubber thing. Uh, anyway, that's going to look nice next between uh, my uh, Ultraman and uh, Rei Ayanami figures. Don't ask. So what else do we have here? Well, as you can see, there's a uh, display here, um, a display for the uh, statue. And I'll just uh, put, put that up there and uh, put this one up as well. As you can see, it makes a nice little diorama for uh, the statue, I guess. Um, so let's see. Um, where to go through first? Uh, well, let's look up here, sh shall we? As you can see, this is the uh, famous, this is the art book. It has all the uh, nice little character designs and... Uh, And, uh, oh, well, there's the game itself. I guess they uh, wanted to um, conserve as much space as possible. And uh, let's see. Apparently this is a little catalog here. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, you got a Batman Arkham City wall calendar, uh, wall posters, um, uh, hats, albums, action figures, all sorts of cool stuff. And, uh, oh, there's more stuff in here. Uh, let's see, what's this here? Uh, just, apparently it's just a, uh, Instructions on the uh, Xbox Live and the 3D thing. Um, so, oh, I see. It's the game manual. <laughs> uh, don't know. Uh, so, uh, apparently down here is a little drawer. And I'll just show the slot there. And here we have... Batman Gotham Knight, if you remember that. Uh, it, apparently it's a collection of vignettes of uh, Batman. And uh, it's from David Goyer, Josh Olsen, and Alan Burnett, who did Batman the Animated Series. In other words, these guys know Batman. Uh, actually, I haven't really seen Gotham Knight, but I am looking forward to watching that. And let's see. Here's the, uh, uh it's a coupon here for the uh, Iceberg Lounge. Um, and uh, it's got Penguin there. And, uh, yeah. Well, and of in case you haven't figured it out by now, I'm covering up the uh, the thing. And uh, let's see. Apparently, Batman the album. Uh, it's a collector's edition version. Uh, apparently, I need to go to uh, dropcards.com slash Arkham City and enter the code. Uh, apparently that'll allow me to get the album. Um, I, I thought they would actually give you a CD, but... Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, another, uh, add-on coupon here, uh, for the Dark Knight Return skin. Uh, from, uh, well, obviously the Dark Knight. Oh. I guess I'll have to redeem them as quickly as possible. Uh, let's see. Ooh, another add-on. Uh, this one is for... Will allow you to play as Robin. Don't ask me which one. I can never keep track of them all. 
I mean, it's, I mean, there have been what, three, four Robins over the years? Uh, let's see. Gotham City Imposters. Uh, for an online beta. Uh, let's see. Join the Gotham City Imposters beta. Get your free Batman Arkham City themed content. Huh. Oh, well, that's interesting. If any of you know anything about that, uh, l let me know in the comments. And, uh, finally, you get to play as Catwoman. Wow. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, last thing in here is, uh, uh, it talks about the uh, Collector's Edition statue. Oh, and it comes with a warning. Sharp points. And it basically it's saying that the ears have sharp points. Gee, you think? <sighs> oh, they are sharp. What do you think? Sharp enough to pick your teeth with? And actually, the statue feels a lot, feels, actually feels lighter than what I was expecting. Huh. So there you have it. Uh, Batman Arkham City. Uh, if uh, Apparently, uh, DC and uh, Rocksteady really... Uh, wanted to go all out for this, including like everything. Maybe they were afraid that people wouldn't really be interested in it. So uh, just put this stuff here and watch this. This slides into here. And uh, okay, let's see if I can do this here. So this is so uh oh I see now. Apparently this was just covering. Alright, fair enough. Uh okay, this goes up, put that out of the way. Uh and place the top. I think, no, maybe, yeah, there it goes. Oh, oh boy, there we go. So, there it is. Uh, oh, I wonder, is there anything on the bottom? Uh, nope, nope, nothing on the bottom. So there you have it, Batman Arkham City, possibly one of the most elaborate special editions that I ever stripped. Uh, so here's the deal. Um, you can get the Arkham City uh, Collector's Edition for about $100 Best Buy, GameStop, basically wherever you uh, buy um, video games and there, there goes a horn, but, uh, but Best Buy is also selling the, uh, album separately. And believe it or not, albums are like one of the, are one of the things that I love about special editions is that they include, that way you can, Immerse yourself in the, uh, well, the um, epicness of the of the game. Uh, it's, I mean, I, a lot of the uh, the uh, games that I've stripped so far were um, had uh, soundtracks with them. So, so, uh, so there you have it, Batman: Arkham City. Uh, pick it up wherever fine games are sold. Uh, if I had to make a rec recommendation, if you want a cheaper version, uh, buy the uh, buy the game alone, and then you can buy the album separately. I think together they're about $78, but it's still cheaper than the whole thing. Plus, if you're not a big fan of the statue, well, then, 
Yeah. So, until then, guys, I'll see you next time.